Hi guys, how you doing? This is me, Stuart of Clever Sharp, with another video for you guys. So, uh, May the 4th be with you. This is, I'm filming this on May the 4th, um, as part of my mass unboxing for the day. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the videos that I put out. I've got so many figures to unbox, so, yeah, stay tuned to the channel, guys. Um, but yeah, today we are unboxing and reviewing this ARC-170 Elite Squad Battle Pack from the Clone Wars. So, um, yeah, just before we get started, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It will really help me out. Thank you so much, guys. Um, but, yeah, May the 4th. What a day in the Star Wars calendar. So, as I said before, we are reviewing this one. So, it is from the Clone Wars 30th Anniversary line. ARC-170 Elite Squad Battle Pack. Some of the, well, two of the clones here are a little bit yellowed, uh, so it's probably been in the sunlight somewhere. But uh, I'm really after these two guys and this droid in particular. This droid I've been after for a while. I was going to buy it loose, but then this came up at a good price, so um, yeah, got it. So that's the front, yeah, comes very nice. The uh, Republic gunship uh, outline there um, on, I don't know what planet it is, but it might tell me on the back. Here we go. So there's the write up. A small number of the Republic Starfleet Arc 170 starfighters are crewed by elite clone troopers trained to go deep into enemy territory on the most dangerous scouting missions and raids. These squads undergo advanced aggressive reconnaissance training taught by advanced recon commandos to equip them with skills to survive the varied and treacherous mission profiles to which they are assigned. The ARC-170 Elite Squad served with distinction during the Outer Rim sieges, providing crucial intelligence and supporting during campaigns on the major Separatists' home world. So, here we go guys. So here are the figures that it comes with. Um, two clone, two pilots and two ARC-170 troopers. And this astromech droid here, which is really, really nice. Uh, it's the colours really, isn't it, of the uh, ARC-170. There we go. These multi-use stores are found everywhere, thanks to their many functions, including repairing ships like ARC-170 fighters are providing navigational support. They are equipped with a variety of tools to meet almost any need or situation. Uh, I'm not going to read all of these different ones, but yeah, you can freeze it there if you want to read it. And here, there you go. Um, yeah, it doesn't say where this planet is, but it does say the outer rim sieges. So I assume it's, you know, somewhere, somewhere around there. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up now, and yeah, take a look at the figures. So I did review one of these battle packs before, the um, betrayal on Felucia. That was with um, Ala Secure, so I did do that one, and I find it very like fiddly to um, get all of them out and everything. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, there's a there's a nice image there of the Arc 170 fighter. Yeah, you can see that the bubbles are even yellow here. So yeah, it's no surprise. It's definitely been in some sunlight somewhere. So you know. So yeah, it has all of these bits that you need to get off, so I'll just go ahead and do that now. So bear with me guys, bear with me. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Need that.
And that's the thing with these um, battle packs in this kind of shape. Um, if you want to get the figures out, you destroy the... Um, like diorama kind of thing behind, or the, the pictures. Which is a bit of a shame, but... Look at that. Recycling! Oh. <laughs> right, what do we have here then? Yeah, that's the only thing that I don't like with these battle packs. Um, sorry guys, you just uh, get them out and then in case of, you know, Where's the diorama gone? Where's the piece? But no bother, no bother. <laughs> right, getting somewhere now. Come on. Here's Mr. Droid, looking really, really nice. Right. And they all come with this like um, band around them to keep them in place, but oh, it's so irritating because it gets everywhere. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Right, after all that, this. <sighs> after all that, we have them all out of the packaging. So, two of these here. Which are the Arc 170 uh, Troopers. Yeah, here's all that uh, banding that comes around. It's so irritating. You never get it all off. More. There we go. Ah, oh, more. Unbelievable. So here's the... Oh, there's more there as well. I'm going to leave that on for the moment. <laughs> so... Arc 170 Troopers, not bad, not bad. Quite a nice sculpt. It's a little bit annoying that it's yellowed, but um, yeah, what can you do, eh? But yeah, I really like the uh, patterns here of the um, the design of the Arc One. Oh my goodness, of the Arc 170. That's really nice. So yeah, not not a removable helmet, which is. No issue. And then obviously this one's exactly the same. Covered in these plastic bits. So irritating. Um, but yeah, these are quite nice. Um, fair amount of articulate, as you can see. Um, I think these, when, when was this built? When was this released? 2007. So yeah, 30th anniversary. Um, so yeah, quite good um, articulation for a figure that old. There you go, there's one. There's two. 
And then you got the um, Clone Trooper Pilots, which are here. These look really nice. Go. What do you think, guys? A little bit less articulation, as you can see by like uh, these swivel legs here. But um, yeah, no biggie. It's almost like the helmet is the face is painted on. I don't think it is. Very little movement of the head. But yeah, what do you guys think of that? That ain't bad, is it? Here will look quite nice on the clone setup. There you go. Obviously, you got two of them. Oh my goodness! There you go. Yeah, not bad at all. Oh! There you go. What do you think of that? Peg card if you want to put them there. Just going to manipulate or articulate it back to so you can stand up quite nicely. And then let's not forget about Mr. Droid here. Now this droid, it doesn't actually have a um, specific name. Like on the book it just says Astromech Droid, which is true, it isn't Astromech, but um, yeah, usually it comes with a name of some sort. If anyone does know it, let me know in the comments. There we go. But yeah. All the usual articulation that you would expect from a droid like this. It's just a repaint, isn't it? Like R2D2, but the colours are so nice and it goes so well with um, these down here. What do you guys think? I love my droids. Oh, what happened there? Why did you decide to fall over, eh? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Really, really nice. You know, I like my droids. I uh, really do want a sand crawler to, um, you know, kind of, kind of like keep them in. I know, like, not all of them belong in the sand crawler, but yeah, that's what the Jabbers do, isn't it? There you go. So, what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, if you do want me to go through the articulation, let me know and I can do a, uh, a short or something like that. But yeah, but yeah. Uh, these are 2007 figures, so I'll probably review the same figures on the channel like that before. But yeah, no worries if you want me to. And um, yeah, stay tuned to the channel for today. Uh, I have lots of videos coming out for May the 4th, 4th so um, yeah, May the 4th be with you guys. And have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. Take care, this is me, Strader Coversant.